Well, hello there, Pisces. It looks like you're running into a life lesson where you're being shown what is in the light and what is cast in shadow and what parts you've been participating in. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Pisces tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you're interested in the extended or in personal readings, there's links to both in the description box below. One cut, please. That's a weird one. Really weird one. Really wanted that card to come out. Duke of Shadows. How cunningly clever am I helping you discern a truth from the lie? I make half truths that seem whole, yet in the darkness is information yet to be known. When the time is right, the light will shine bright, and truth will give way to understanding. I love the blurbs for these cards. That's number 14 reduced to a five. This one's been coming out, I think, three, four times this week. Guest of honor. Number 22 reduced to a four. Four and five. Mid-cycle change. Okay. Okay. This one? All right. This feels like someone who is going to be revealed to them just which part of their lives are real and which parts are fake. Okay. And how much that they participated in the dress up. Okay, one sec. Sorry about that, front door. <laughs> okay. So you're going to see, you're going to see what parts of your life are real or not and how much you may have participated it in it without realizing. That's a strong theme. Okay. Let's get into it. Show me what's going on with Pisces, please. Show me what's going on with Pisces. Show me what's going on with Pisces, please. Show me what's going on with Pisces. Seven of Swords. There's this idea of wanting one's cake and eating it to Scorpio Leo energy underneath. Not wanting to part with a scent of what's been made. This almost feels like um, someone who says they never, ever, 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 ever want to get married. Because they only think of the divorce and how people lose half their stuff. Da, 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 and no one wants to part with a single cent. I mean, okay. Okay. Six of cups. Eight of wands. Page of swords. Devil card of Capricorn. Ten of cups. Lovers, ah, ace of coins. The worry of unrequited energy. I'm reading this is you, this is them, this is the situation. You're, this is someone who's basically afraid of being left and taken for all they have. But they're bringing you the ten of cups, though, babe. This is a soulmate, that they're bringing you a ten of cups. But you've really hung on to this rhetoric. This could be something that has happened to you before. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is, could be something that's happened to friends, family. <laughs> you could just be looking at the statistics. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and now that the arrows of love have come into your life with the intention of this to be made real. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. There's there's the full wall of rejection. There's the full wall of rejection. Show me the details of the Six of Cups, the details of a situation, please. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Mm hmm Okay, but someone has to take responsibility for their rhetoric, okay? Because what it is that you're showing me is that you believe that you are free from tradition. Getting engaged, getting married, however however you picture that. You, you view yourself as free from that, but you wish for something greater. Okay, show me what... Pisces wishes for. See, so you go back and forth on that. Because there's the part of you that would like to have something, and then you immediately shut that shit down when you start thinking too deeply for it, into it. Okay. But you're leaving it in a very 3D rhetoric. Never getting married, for example. It doesn't have to be that exactly. Um, and got it. Um, there's the idea of not wanting something traditional that causes wreckage to investment savings, whatever it is. But there is still the yearning for the fated thing. Okay. Okay. It doesn't have to look like that, though. It, does, it doesn't have to look traditional. It doesn't have to look conventional. It could look like something else. But as soon as you long for that star, you shut it down. Okay. So this connection makes you feel a little uncomfortable. Show me the Eight of Wands. Three of Cups, Knight of Wands, Hanged Man. You, this is that having one's cake too, because even when these arrows of love come in, you don't change anything. You continue on with your perspective, with your rhetoric. Okay. Show me the devil, please. Strength card of Leo, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Seven of Cups. This is someone who wants every option available to them always. This is backed by fear, but it's it's a control issue backed by fear, of course. Wanting the truth is wanting every option available to you always. So you can make any decision at any time, regardless what it is. Show me the lovers, please. Ten of Wands, Nine of Coins, Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles. Okay. You you let this interesting way. I wonder if um any of you are really into wine, because I'm hearing you let this die on the vine. You let this die on the vine. Okay. That's one way to do it.
get into them. Show me the page of swords. Okay. Devil, four of wands. Got it. <coughs> Where's my tea? Mm -hmm. this person does see the distance between you and them okay they see the devil you both have it in between where union could happen and where you choose to stand and the chasm that is okay They believe they're going to have to chalk this up to a loss. Okay. Show me the Ten of Cups, please. Yep, there it is. Five of Pentacles, King of Cups. Three of Wands, they start looking at where they're, where they're going to pursue Ten of Pentacles. Scorpio Energy there with the King of Cups. They see this Ten of Cups put right out in the cold. Okay. What are my options? What's my so instead of thinking I want my options open all the time, it's the perspective is the thing that I wanted most is not available to me. What are my options from here? It's a different thought. All right. Show me the ace of coins, please. Aries energy with the emperor. Got it. So they, they know, they know the possibility of this being beyond whatever the original meeting was for, whether it was um, a date that went well or you work together, go to school together, whatever it is that pre-existed, that is the extent of this, that this thing will go and that you choose, you they know you deliberately choose not to see them for who they are to you. They know. Where are they headed? What Ten of Pentacles are they headed toward? They're headed towards the sun. They're done competing. For time, for connection, they're done competing. Leo, Sagittarius energy there. Okay. Oops, I didn't ask a question. What is uh, Pisces going to do when this person parts ways? You're going to wish for the connection. Star, chariot, lovers, Aquarius, Cancer, Gemini. but you're still back and forth on the actual investment itself. You know what they are now. After they leave, you know they are an empress. Pisces, Taurus, Libra, Taurus energy again. This is a very classic, you don't know what you have until it's gone. Okay. But that completes and it becomes, a, it's a lost opportunity. They go into discovery mode and reclaim what makes them happy. Okay. So I'm going to head over the extended and I'm going to get into them some more. I'm going to see what's going on with them in their current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. I don't see any movement from you in their direction, though. Okay. I don't see any movement. Okay. Um, because your original movement of their from their exit is, wait, don't leave. I didn't want you to leave. 
having cake and eating it too. I wanted you to stay so I could benefit from you staying, but not actually give you what you need. Like I said, the theme of this reading, the theme of this reading is about discovering what costume you've been wearing as you've been participating in your life so far. How much you have consciously, subconsciously participated in these shadows. Okay. So I'm going to head over and get her current energy near future and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in that information, as well as timing and messages from spirit, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye. 